hot and cold water. The things we need. Two glasses. Hot and cold water. Colors. Cardboard. Nail. Make a small hole at the center of the cardboard. Make it clear so that the water could easily flow through it. Pour hot water into a glass up to the edge. Careful! Water is very hot. You can keep hot water ready for your experiments. Add a few drops of red color into the glass. You can make use of a straw as a dropper. Add two to three drops. Stir it properly. Water level should be over the rim of the glass. Now pour the second glass with cold water. You can use water from the refrigerator. Lay the cardboard carefully on the cold water glass. This part is tricky. Pick up the cold glass. Turn it upside down. Pour it over the hot water glass. The card must be flat and make a seal. You don't need to put your hand on the cardboard. The water will hold it in place. Just flip the glass over. Don't stop for a second. If the glass tilts but isn't turned over completely, the water will gush out. Keep the necks of the glasses close together. What happens? What color is the cold water in the top jar? What color is the hot water in the bottom jar? The red color water from bottom glass rises up into the upper glass. It is against gravity. Reason? Cold water is heavier than hot water. The cold water goes down into the bottom glass, pushing the hot water up in small currents. When you heat the water, water molecules start moving around faster and faster. They bounce off each other and move further apart. Because there is more space between the molecules, a volume of hot water has fewer molecules in it. It weighs a bit less than the same volume of cold water. So hot water is less dense than cold water. The hot water rises to the top. When the cold water is at the bottom, the water does not mix. The hot water does not have to rise as it is already on the top.